intrigue, mystery, romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Clean up holstery for a couple. Come on, laugh and smile. We just got waited. We'll stay a while. So Mr. Shannon, he make nice party to get to how matrimony. Have big time, paint the place red. Big day, not he is newly wed. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was fine, King. Thank you, Mr. Slate. You can bring in that cake now. Right away. Be back with it in a minute. Oh, a cake, too? But well, my husband and I are speechless, Mr. Shannon. Miss Duvall. Oh, we don't know how to thank you. Well, don't bother to try. Just tell your friends, Mrs. Cheney. Well, a friend told us about Shannon's place. Just last night in Miami before we were married. Go to Shannon's place in Havana, Bill, he said, if you don't visit anywhere else. You two known each other long? Oh, a couple of months. Bill and I, impetuous. <laughs> Would you like to tell me something, Mr. Cheney? Anything at all. How does a man get up nerve enough to propose? I mean, uh, well, a fellow is attracted to a girl. Their interests are the same. They get along together. Then what happens? Well, frankly, Ruth twisted my arm a little bit, and the words just came out. <laughs> Last time I clamped a hammerlock on Slate... It hurt. No, he tells me. All he told me then is that I had a lot to learn about leverage. Make way for the wedding cake! Oh, it, it, it's beautiful. What's the matter, Mrs. Cheney? Because it's store-bought? I didn't know you were coming, so I didn't bake it. Nothing. It's nothing. What is it, dear? Well, I... I guess I'm foolish. Everyone's being so nice. Everyone's enjoying themselves. That man over there in the corner, I've been watching him. He came in alone a little while ago, and he seems so... Well, look at him. Yeah, he, he does look a little played out. Bill, bring him over here. Sure, I think that's a fine idea. Now, you sit still. I'll get him. <laughs> now, the people over there were wondering, hey, what's wrong with you? Come on, come on. You can't. Slate, what's the matter with him? I didn't have time to invite him to the party, sailor. He just dropped dead. Oh, I'm tired, Bill. Got that old tired feeling. Yeah, me too, baby. For the gay party, wasn't it? Mm, the best you've ever given me. I cherish it always. And the wedding present. You like that too? The dead senor Juan Contraria. I like that best of all. You've given me a new life. I feel like a brand new bride with a brand new husband. We murdered a man so you get that feeling. You and me, baby. Which one are you talking about, Bill? The one back home, or, or this new one, Contrarius? The one we poisoned? Contrarius doesn't count. He was a greedy punk. I was thinking about the guy back home. Thanks. Just wanted to keep him straight in my mind. I owe him a lot, don't I, Bill? That derelict who came to the door for a handout. And you beat him to death, planted your identity on him, and then burned it all to the ground so my old Bill could be dead I could collect his insurance money and marry my new bill again. I owe him a lot. When we get back home, I'll put flowers on his grave. <laughs> it's my grave, isn't it, baby? With my name on it. Oh, and I'm a happy, happy widow with a brand new bridal veil. 
Nothing can stand in the way of that. Can it, honey? Nothing? Nobody? No one. I'm tired, baby. Let's get some sleep. Trying to make people happy, build up goodwill for Shannon's place, and what happened? What are you talking to yourself for? You know what happened. By the time we get back to the hotel, Inspector LaSalle will probably be waiting there. Getting so the cafe is a daily stopover for LaSalle's flunky, coroners. Guy picks up some poison someplace in Havana, comes into my place, and keels over. Maybe that man back there knows why. Huh? He's still following us? Uh-huh. Now he's trying to look like a palm tree. Let's find out about a sneaky fellow like that. Spoil his fun? Look. Suddenly he's wearing a beard. Come on. Hi there. Nice day. It will rain. Your beard's dragging. That is how I know it will rain. How do you tell when you're not wearing a beard? Huh? What are you saying? He's saying, why the disguise? Why are you following us? Who are you? What are you doing here? Stuff like that there. Uh, permit me, my card, uh, a key. Read and you will know. Eduardo Cinco, 54, Paseo Tortuga. And it says here you're an Ojo Particular. She? The greatest Ojo Particular of them all. Of them all? You're the greatest what? Ojo Particular. It's private eye. And of the matter of why I am following you. It is of the matter of why you have murdered my partner, Juan Contuarius. What? You have learned of the blackmail, senor. Is it not so? So you want in. Is it not so? And it is for this that I follow. Put up your hands. Now let's stay alive, shall we? So you refuse. Very well. You will take that and also... You didn't have to hit him that hard, Slay. Blackmail? What is he talking about? I don't know. Neither do I. Let's go back to the hotel. I've got some figuring to do. Inspector LaSalle wasn't in the lobby, Slade. No, it looks good that way, doesn't it? Never saw it look better. How about a dead body? I peeked. Not one. (laughs) We must be slipping, huh, kid? Well, well. You know what I always say, sailor? Uh Uh-huh. But say it anyway. I always say if a cop's going to wait for a fellow, why doesn't a cop just wait in a fellow's office where it's cozy? You comfy, LaSalle? Hmm. You are a thoughtful man, Senor Shannon. This swivel chair of yours has a remarkable velocity. I came to warn you, senor, because in so many small ways I admire you. Now, don't tell me. Let me guess. Want to put your hands over my eyes while I guess? Mm, I admire you, senor, for how violent is your shadow. For how you beat up a ridiculous little man on a beach. Slate does that when he gets angry. And the reason for your anger? I had reasons. He pointed a gun at me. You left out the best part. He said you killed his partner, Contrarius. Oh, yeah, that too. Why would Edward Finkel think such a thing of such an admirable man as you, senor? Maybe he gets his kicks that way. Nothing else? Yeah, something else. He thought I wanted to cut in on a blackmail racket. Hmm. Bend more, my ear, Senor Shannon. It is thrilling what you tell me. Now, with the man who was murdered in your hotel. Listen to me, LaSalle. Your cops were here, ran their noses all over the place, whispered in each other's ears, ate up the wedding cake. And I wanted to save a piece to put under my pillow. Perhaps they were hungry, Senorita. With the same hunger, I have to discover why Senor Shannon should kill, commit violence. I came only to tell you I will appease this hunger. Hasta luego. Till again, senor. Senorita. The man wasn't kidding, Slate. He made it cold in here. Yeah. Throw me a warm kiss, sailor. I'm going out. Where? To find out what gives LaSalle such a big appetite. where you are. Huh? Look, Miss. I am looking. The way the light through the shutter strikes your face. It interests me. 
Much. <laughs> Much. To try this profile. What does that do? Oh, it makes me want to write home to my mother. You are the sleep, Shannon. Notorious, violent. Hey, boy, to bring home. Yeah. Now, for a P.S., you can tell Mom I want Eduardo Cinco, the awful particular. Uh, on second thought, maybe you better tell me. You wish him to follow something? To divorce you from something? Yeah. From a murder rap. The one he's trying to pin on me. Murder? Oh, well, I must pick for Eduardo the appropriate false beard. He has a pretty one for murder. Oh, don't bother. I already pushed that one down his teeth. <laughs> oh, he was so partial to it. What's his favorite beard? He said something to me about blackmail, about that's why I killed his partner. Yeah, but you wouldn't know about that, huh? About what? Off the dime, Magda. Oh, because Slate Shannon spoke my name, I, I will tell you. I wouldn't know about it. Which brings us back to Eduardo. My name is Magda Marquise. Twelve Alvanita Parada. Whenever loneliness walks the streets at your side. Um, could be. Uh, uh, let's see, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was asking you where I could find your boss, name of Cinco, the man with a beard. He is attending a rendezvous on Little Beach at this moment. Because you said, uh, could be. <laughs> Sailor. Hi. What are you doing here? The Sal called. He wanted you, so I thought I'd better... Sal? What do you want me for? Maybe you'd better ask him. There he is. Over there in the clouds. Well, what's going on? I just looked and didn't believe it. You better see for yourself. Inspector LaSalle. Oh, welcome, Senor Shannon. You have returned to admire your handiwork? Hmm. Well, what's happening Yo, here? Move! Move! You see, Senor Shannon, the man lying here on the sand has been stabbed to death. But that's a little private eye, Eduardo Senko. Nor did he forget you. Mira, at his fingertips, he has written a name in the sand. Do you see it? He has written a name, Slate Shannon. <laughs> they take the body away, they hang around. Fire and death, Mr. Wall, holds its own particular mirror up to each of us. We look at it, we see what we wish to see. And each of us shivers because it has touched us. Is that why I'm shivering? I thought it was because it's getting chilly out here on the beach. And I thought perhaps it was because you had just killed a man. Nope. It's because it's getting chilly. Come on, sailor. I'll take you home. You can stick your feet in a hot bucket of water. See what simple pleasures I have, Inspector LaSalle. I am sorry for you. You will have to dip your feet, Stag. Senor Shannon comes with me. What? Why? The normal procedure for people under arrest. Hey, you're not serious. Are you? You don't think I killed that little guy? In one word, see. Si. Which a free translation is yes. Come along. Now, wait a minute. I repeat, come along. I don't like jail, LaSalle, especially when I haven't done anything. Murder is something. Senor, I will be forced to point a gun at you. Save yourself the trouble. Oh! Slate, you're crazy. You'll have the whole Havana police force on your back. It was just there. Go home, sailor. I'll get in touch with you. I'm going to see a girl about a murder. King, it scares me. I don't think Slate should have run away. They would have tried to hang him for murder, Lady Sailor, and they might have succeeded because they wanted so much. Don't, King. Oh, forgive me. I only meant... To... I know. Don't stop playing. It helps. Where do you think he is now? I do not know, but it would be in some place where he can find a way to spare his life to us. 
and to himself. Why would a dying man write Slate's name in the sand? The dead have many whims. Mr. Ball, my husband and I want to... What's the matter, dear? You look so forlorn. I've got a keen reason. They want Slate for murder. Are you kidding us, Mr. Ball? They say he killed that man at your wedding party. They found another man on the beach. They say Slate killed him, too. You have any unsolved murders, Mrs. Cheney? I've got just the guy for you. They got you, Mr. Shannon, in jail? No, he got away. So he could find the real murderer. That's one for our side. Maybe. I'm sorry I pried, dear. I'm sure at a time like this, you'd, you'd rather be alone. You're sweet, Mrs. Cheney. Thanks. If we can help in any way, Mr. Vaughn, please feel free to... Come on, Bill. Leave her alone. He got away from him. You said writing his name that way, but... Bill, a man like Shannon could spoil it. Don't worry about it. Shannon won't spoil anything. Not Shannon, not Magda. Nobody. No one. Like I always say to you, baby... guy who impressed you, remember? When the light through the shutters strikes my face, you used to jump up and down without getting off the floor. Oh, you must go, I tell you. Oh, I'm coming in. Oh, you... You do not know what you are doing. All right, you are. Get out of here. In a little while, after you explain some things to me. No, no. Who poisoned Contuarius, Magda? Oh, please. Please, you must go. You must. And who had the rendezvous with Cinco on Lido Beach? You must not ask this, please, senor... Go quickly while... While what? I will be dead if you do not go. I will die like Juan, like Eduardo. What's happened to you? Who frightened you like this? You... Here. Give me a hand, Magda. Oh, please. Oh, please, you must go. Oh, isn't this a lot better than being frightened to death? Yes. Your mascara is running. Yes. I don't care either. Oh. Tell me what's happening. No. No, you will not trick me to stay. Get out. I, I will show you. Come on, Operator. Give me the police. So long, Magda. A short romance and a lousy one. <laughs> My slave, huh? So long it has been you have not come to Maria's Palace of Jolly's to dance for a dime. Now I've got some trouble, Maria. Well, if you cannot afford ten centavos to dance at Maria's place, Maria will put it on her fat cob. <laughs> it's not that. I've got to have some place to stay. Worry is in your face, Mr. Moussa. Well, this kind of worry shows. The police want me. I had to hit a cop to get away from them. I've got to have some place to stay. In the back is a room. It is yours. And one more thing. Get word to Sailor. Tell her where I am. Tell her I want to see her. See, see. All this I will do. From fat me to worried you, my assistant. From worried me to wonderful you, my thanks. Oh, do not thank me, Slade Shannon. If harm would come to you, Maria would waste away. <laughs> What's the matter, King? You find a guest swiping a towel? It's much better than that, Lady Sailor. This scrap of paper, it slid under my door. From Slate? From the lady of the dance palace of Jolly's. Mr. Slate is hiding there. He wants you to go to him. I'd give my arm if I could go to him. The Sal's beagles are just waiting for me to do something like that. Those who have been snipping around our hotel? Those. I will go to him, Lady Sailor. Uh -uh. They'd follow you, too. If they want Slate, they'll have to sweat for him. I think he is in much need of you, Lady Sailor. I think you... Wait here, to... King. Oh, it's you. You 
care to come in, Mr. Duvall? Thanks. Ruth, it's Miss Duvall. This is an unexpected pleasure, dear. Please sit down. Mr. Cheney, you said if I needed help, I could call on you. Well, that depends, Mr. Duvall. What kind of help? I just had word from Slate. Oh. Oh, you must be very happy, dear. And you want to share it with us. You couldn't have come to two people more suited. He wants me to go to him. If I did that... The police would follow you and arrest him. Maybe hang him. Will you two go? Tell him I got his message. But I can't come to him because the police will follow me. Where is you, Mr. Shannon, dear? At the Palace of Jollies in the Barrio. Tell a woman named Maria that I sent you. She'll take you to Slate. It's like Baby said, Mr. Vall. You couldn't have come to two people more suited. It is Maria. How do these two get here? Oh, they say they come from Miss Duval. Well, then they ought to come in. It's all right, Maria. I'll let you know if we need anything. You do that, mi hermosa. Anything at all. Mr. Shannon. Come on in and talk to me. See if I'm right. I should have thought about it. The cops were tailing Sailor. That's right, Mr. Shannon. That's why she asked us to come. That party I gave you was a good investment. She told us all about it. How you wanted for two murders. About the girl. Huh? About what girl? Magda. How terrified she was when you came to her for help. She told you that, huh? You made a mistake, baby. Didn't you, Shannon? I didn't tell Sailor anything about Magda's being terrified. How would you know about Magda? Because it's us that terrified her. Well, the blackmail, huh? Gets back to that. Those two private eyes owned a piece of you, huh? Is that what Magda told you? Oh, well, Magda and I got along fine. My advice to you, Mr. Shannon, is to go to the police with it. Why don't you do that? This gun get in the way? <laughs> uh, the gun doesn't bother me. If I had a few things to fill me in, I'd go to the police. What few things? Bill and I'd be glad to oblige. For that nice store-bought wedding cake. Like what the blackmail twist is? Oblige him, Ruth. Sure, honey. Mr. Shannon... We killed a man back in the States. I'm two in Havana. You're making an international production out of it. That's right. But let's take it slowly. We killed a man back in the States and burned his body. And the insurance company said that was Bill here. They paid me $50,000. I met Bill in Miami with the money. And here we are. Which private eye caught up with you, Bill? Contrarius. He saw me on the street and came up to me. Contrarius even arranged passage for Bill to Havana. Maybe. Suggested your place, Mr. Shannon. Didn't he, Bill? Baby. Didn't he, Bill? Baby, I'm trying to tell you something. What? Oh, baby, haven't you figured why we came here to this place? Yeah, think about it, Ruth. Why didn't Bill just call the cops if you wanted to get rid of me? Bill. You've got to go, too, baby. Bill, you're joking. I doubt it. You collected that money for Bill's debt. That makes it all his. You're a man I like to chat with, Shannon. You understand how things are, right and wrong. Bill, Bill, you're just tired, honey. You, you don't know what you're saying. I know. He really does. Bill, Bill, listen to me. This is Ruth. We killed three men together. You want it from up close, Ruth? Keep coming. You don't know what you're saying. You don't... I'll never let you go. I'll hold you down. Ruth, let me go. Stop holding me. Hold on to this. No. I love you so much, Bill. Slate Shannon. Slate Shannon. Oh, don't come in here, Maria. But what has happened? Call the police. But why? What should I tell them? Tell them Slate Shannon's here. I'll tell them the rest. What's that? Oh, I thought you'd know right away. It's a cake. I baked it myself. With candles? What for? I'm celebrating. I didn't go to jail again. There's a candle for every time you didn't, huh? 
Let me see. One, two, three, four. Well, count them. Just make a wish, then blow them out. Why should I? To your cake. I give it to you. All right. I'll make a wish. That's very good. What did you wish? If I tell, it won't come true. Never does. Never? Come here, sailor. See? I didn't tell. Came true, huh? Go bake another cake. I could keep this up forever. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in... Bye.